let's go ahead and do this. Um, welcome everyone to the IGF USA 2021. Uh, thank you for, for joining. I'm Dustin Loop, co-chair of the IGF USA, and we have a great program in store for the next two days. Uh, last year's event, we focused uh, on the uncertainty around the pandemic, and we captured that moment in time, focusing on the role that the internet played and keeping us moving where it fell short and everywhere in between. This year, while we're not out of the pandemic yet, we are looking ahead to discuss the internet we want to see and how we think we can get there. We've been discussing many of these issues at the IGF USA since 2009, and at this time, with the internet's role in society more prominent than ever, we're in a unique position to contribute insight into the issues facing the internet with our multi-stakeholder dialogue. And we have a lot of that planned for the next two days. So I'm gonna move us right along and get into the program. But before we get there, I wanna run through a few housekeeping items to help you get most out of the IGF USA 2021. The first, we have multiple viewing experiences. Uh, we have people watching from both the Zoom and the live stream. All of the same content will be made available on both platforms. But if you'd like to engage in the chat and ask questions, you'll need to join by Zoom. And if you're viewing on live stream right now and want to become a more active participant in that way, it's not too late for you to register. Uh, you can go to igfusa.us to do that. Um, for those of you joining by Zoom, we've enabled both the chat function and the Q&A function. Uh, the chat is for ongoing dialogue with other attendees, sharing resources, communicating with organizers, sharing ideas, whereas the Q&A function is for questions that you would like to see the panel address. So following that process will really help make both the chat and the Q&A more productive and useful. Um, for the networking piece, uh, we're trying to improve the virtual network experience of the IGF USA using a platform called Remo. This allows attendees, panelists, and organizers to interact during the breaks in smaller groups. It will work through your browser. It'll provide a layout of a room with tables of varying sizes. Uh, you can have everything from one-on-one -on -one chat up to groups of six. In this format, uh, you select the table you'd like to sit at, and you can hop to different tables as often as you would like. The link to join the network lounge is available on the SCED agenda website, and we'll be posting the links at the end of each session as well. And we'll also be using this platform for our social event. After today's sessions conclude, there will be an informal happy hour. There's no, really no structure to this, just an opportunity to continue to engage with others. And then after our final session tomorrow, at the close of the conference, we'll hold a closing reception, which will include a Mixology 101 course, where we'll prepare session-themed cocktails, have internet-themed trivia, and a chance to chat with others. So please take a chance to look at that cocktail menu to make sure that you're not lacking any of the key ingredients. And uh, you can find that, again, on the SCED website for the page uh, titled IGF USA 2021 Closing Reception. Uh, if you engage with us on social media, please use the hashtag IGF USA 2021. Um, and please remember that uh, civil dialogue is key to a successful IGF USA. That goes not just for the conference, but the community as a whole. So please make sure that you're familiar with the code of conduct that can be found in the participation guide on the SCED website. Um, and one, one last thing that we'd like to do before moving along here is take this opportunity to acknowledge all of the contributions that have made this event possible. Uh, it really all starts with the dedicated efforts of the steering committee made up of dozens of volunteers that lead the development of all the sessions that you'll be seeing throughout the duration of this conference. Their collaborative planning effort is really the essence of the IGF USA and couldn't be done without it. Um, unfortunately, this year, our steering committee was missing its chief catalyst, Marilyn Cade, and although she wasn't with us during the planning process, the effort she put in you know, over a decade with tireless dedication that she gave to the IGF USA was very much felt, and her presence was certainly with us in this planning process, and I know she'd be incredibly proud of this year's program. Uh, we also have a team behind the scenes making sure that the logistics are seamless, providing 
captions and live stream and all sorts of other types of support that are critical to making this happen. And of course we have our sponsors um, that have contributed uh, in various ways and we'd like to thank them. So we'd like to thank those that have provided uh, general support which includes Amazon, Aaron, AT&T, Comcast, NBC, Universal, ICANN, the Internet Society Foundation, Lumen, NetChoice, Public Interest Registry, uh, USCIB, US Telecom, and Verisign. Um, and they all provided very generous support that we wouldn't be able to hold this event without. And then also want to thank uh, Donuts for being this year's caption sponsor. Uh, .us for being this year's networking break sponsor and Iggy Ventures LLC for sponsoring the closing reception. We've also received other types of incredible in-kind support this year with the Glen Echo Group supporting our communications and outreach, Gather Voices and see to do uh, providing us with the platform to create promotional videos and the Center for Cybersecurity Policy and Law for supporting our use of SCED as our agenda platform this year. Uh, so, so with that, um, looking forward to engaging with you all over the next two days, and I will hand it over to my co-chair, Melinda Clem. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, welcome, everyone. This year's event is a perfect representation of this point in time and our respective roles. We face challenges in the forms of malicious attacks causing outages, compromised personal data, rampant spread of harmful content, and inadequate access to affordable internet. Simultaneously, we see creative new uses of the internet, use cases that inform, educate, build small businesses, innovative tools to improve our health and our well-being, and models to safely and securely engage online. All of this is possible because we come together as a community, united by the understanding that a single, safe, accessible internet is our goal. This drive, this spirit, it's part of our culture. It's not enough to simply manage risk. We seek to conquer and to end threats, to solve access issues, and to secure both our core internet infrastructure and the billions of devices connecting to it. We do this because anything short is inadequate. It's incompatible with our American DNA and our ambition. IGF USA and this event are part of that dynamic. Over the next two days, you will hear open and honest dialogue about vulnerabilities and challenges, a critical step in defining our path forward. We will also evaluate success stories and the positive impact of achieving one safe internet to help remind us of why this is also important. It is our goal that you are both informed and inspired and take what we discuss here and act upon it. We're glad to have you with us. And again, thankful to all of our steering committee members, our volunteers, the support team, and all of our generous sponsors. We begin today with opening addresses from people who play a vital role in realizing the full potential of the internet for all Americans and across the globe. From her time as governor of Rhode Island, Gina Raimondo prioritized quality internet access for her citizens. As part of the Biden administration efforts to build back better, she champions affordable internet access for all Americans encourages US participation and leadership in international communications and internet fora, aims to strengthen manufacturing of key internet technology, and has several agencies reporting to her that are producing cybersecurity guidance to harden our infrastructure and help protect businesses of all sizes. We are grateful for her time recording this message for us and introducing our keynote address by Doreen Bogdan Martin. It is my honor today to present the United States Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo. <laughs> 